So in this video, we are going to see how we can implement side effects in ABAP RESTful application programming model. So this is one of the very important topic and uh, I was getting so many requests to upload a video on this. So here we are. Let's start. So very first thing is what side effects is and uh, how we can implement these side effects and where should we implement these side effects side effect is uh, when user makes any change onto the front end or for example if i'm making a change in one of the field and it is affecting the value of any other field right that behavior is called a side effect in a very simple language if we want to understand this we have a application created in our previous videos we were updating the salary of teachers and professors when i update the role with the teacher it updates the salary when i change the role to professor it again updates the salary and uh, this behavior we have implemented using the determination functionality what happens is when i change the role i need to click on the save button and then the page refresh and then the updated salary gets reflected onto the page on a specific field now what if the scenario is like my requirement is as soon as i change the value of one field and I hit enter without refreshing the whole page I just want to update the value of salary field so if you have these kind of requirement then side effect is the solution so we will see how we can implement the side effects okay so to implement this side effect uh, there are couple of changes needed in the behavior definition as well and there are some annotations available which we need to add while we create our fury application the annotations are uh, there are couple of more but these are the two main annotate annotations which we will be using so first is source properties and the target properties so the source property is the property on which you want to trigger the side effect behavior means our source property would be the role so role field or role property would be our source property and our target property would be salary the property you want to manipulate as a result of side effect so once you make a change to the role which field you want to update so that field we will add to target properties so these are the two main annotations which we are going to use in this demo scenario okay so let's start how we can implement this okay so we are inside our application which we have created in our previous videos this is what the determination we have created what it does is when we click on the save button it it picks up the role and then it determines the value of the salary field so now what we want to implement here is we want to implement the side effect so the side effect is implemented using on modify so as soon as anything gets modified onto the screen the side effect will be triggered we will be changing a little bit here in place of save we will write modify and we will not change anything else because we still want to trigger this side effect onto the role field so this is the only change which we will be making in the behavior definition let's save this file now we have a change salary method we will now navigate to our class here we will see an error message because earlier we were using on save but now we are using modify 
what it is saying change salary is defined as determination on modify which means it must be implemented in the method of determine determine on modify we will change determine on modify okay that's it and uh, we already have our method created here change salary which is taking care of teacher and professor for calculating the salary now we have made changes to these two files save this and now activate click on activate all button Let's select which ones are our thousand and thousand and activate okay so our code is now activate whatever changes you needed for the side effect those changes are done we no need to make any other change here now the next thing is since we will be implementing this side effect in a fury app what we are going to do is we will be creating an api for this for creating the api for that we will be creating a new service binding here to create a v4 api we need to create a new service binding so let's create a new service binding here and uh, give a name so z ui underscore demo underscore 1000 underscore 1 and description is uh, service binding binding type would be v4 web api and uh, service definition we will take z underscore expose underscore demo underscore 1000 okay now click on next and provide the tr click on finish okay so we have got uh, our uh, new binding type v4 api and uh, now let's activate this so to enable publish the local service endpoint activate the service binding so let's activate so our service is now active here now we will publish the local service endpoints click on this so what it is doing is uh, it is publishing the service endpoints so that we can use it while we create our fiori application using business application studio so our service is now active and this is our service url which got generated now what we will do is we will create a fiori application where we will be using this this service url or this service binding okay so let's open our business application studio click on this and uh, go to our space click ok now what we are going to do is we will be creating a new fiori application and uh, we will connect it to our generated api v4 api so to create a fiori application in business application studio we already have a full series available on the channel if you haven't visited that please do visit it will help to understand what we are doing here let's create new project from template and uh, select the fury application click on start now here we are targeting the list report and object page application click on next and now it is asking for data source so what we are going to do is we will be connecting to a trial web system so select the connect to a system option and then select about trial cloud one btp so all of these configuration video i already have in other series available onto this channel 
so now all of the services available on to this system are loaded here so let's search our service our service name was cui underscore demo underscore 1000 underscore one so this is the only service available select this and uh, click on next now our main entity would be this one and click on next now give a project name here students and uh, let's keep all of these thing default we are not very much interested in this click on finish now it is creating our project it is installing the dependencies okay so now our project is ready and uh, if we see the log everything is checked green application status is all green and uh, if we go to our project we have the node module and our web app application okay now what we can do is let's uh, let's run this application once so start students okay so our application is ready now click on go and we got two records here now click on this and our data is getting updated now if i edit this and uh, my requirement is if the, so the salary is 10000 here for teacher and let's see the salary for professor professor and click on save so now once you save you are seeing the updated salary what our requirement is as soon as i change this chtr and i hit enter this salary should get updated based on the role so this is what we are going to achieve through the side effect okay let's save it and uh, go back now to implement this side effect feature we need to go back close this and uh, go to our project go to web app and open the annotation file here we will be adding some annotations so let's see what are all those annotations are i have the annotations in my clipboard i am pasting it here so the annotation which we are using here is as we saw in our slide as well we are only using these two annotation properties so source properties and the target properties now it is showing this error common dot side effect it is because uh, we haven't added uh, the namespace for this so click on this and add a reference so your error will be gone and uh, now you need to have the uh, property so source property is on which property you want to trigger this side effect so our property is role role property okay and which property you want to update so we want to update the property is so the property which we want to update is uh, salary and uh, that's it when the role is changed the salary will be updated stop this and uh, save our annotation file close the file and uh, let's run it okay so our application is loaded again let's select one record and go to edit mode and uh, 
change the rule and hit enter and let's see if the salary gets updated here or not yeah our salary got updated here with 15,000 now if I change the role to teacher and hit enter see our salary got updated to 10,000 back so this is what the side effect is and this is how it gets implemented one more thing I wanted to show you is uh, let's uh, do an F12 here and uh, let's see the console so go to your network tab and now update the role field professor hit enter so see our salary got updated and we have a request here which is going to backend if you click on this request and uh, select the preview and copy the output of JSON which we are getting and see we are getting only the salary field here so no other properties are getting loaded system is only selecting the salary column and how it is selecting it is only doing this query here so it is doing a select salary that's why we are only getting one field in a response and which is getting updated in our front end as well this is how we can use the concept of side effects in a full application programming model if you like the content please consider subscribing to my channel thank you